Like the title says, I lost all my images. That was before, that was a long time ago, and since that day, I've learned on how to protect myself from losing images. So we're gonna look at some different backup options and look at some different drives. So let's have a look at it. All right, like I was saying, I had lost all my images. You can get them recovered by a professional service and that, but it's no guarantee they, they can recover, and there's no guarantee you're gonna get all your images back. Uh, so like I say, since that day, I've learned, before me, I've got a few of the options, some older, some newer, and there is some other systems that I will kind of talk about after. So we'll start with kind of the older one that I don't see around too much anymore, and that's this one here. It's called an enclosure. It has a built-in fan and everything, so it makes it nice on-off button on the back. This is called an enclosure basically because it encloses a hard drive. The hard drive in here is out of my old computer. It was a two terabyte hard drive. The hard drive was so good. The uh, rest of the computer was not. So I just basically bought this case. It just slides in and connects and away you go. So that works as a two terabyte backup drive for me and it works out wonderful. So it's called an enclosure. You can still find them around the, the casings and that, but I don't tend to see them as much because the other backup drives have come down quite a bit in price. Uh, you've got these ones here and they come in different sizes, thicknesses. You can get a one terabyte, two terabyte, four or five. Uh, I use a lot of these as well. They're great for traveling as well. The only thing with these is I don't leave them plugged in for overly long because they don't have any fans or any external cooling. So I tend to stand them up when I go to use them. That way the heat disperses a little more rapidly from them, but they can overheat more so than this one that has a fan built in. Now we have another option here. This is a, another hard drive. It kind of looks like the enclosure, but it's not. It comes pre-done like this. Comes with a cool little stand so it stands up. And you got your power button and that on the back. These are all USB connected. This one here has a button on the front because there's software pre-built into it that you can do a one backup, a one button backup they call it, that'll back up your whole system. Well, I don't need my whole system. I just need it for video and image storage. Now, as I say, again, these come in various sizes. Pick the one you need. And I would go bigger than you need because eventually you're gonna fill it. Uh, I have quite a few of these in various sizes and they're getting bigger and bigger. Now, once a drive is finished, I put a label on it because the last thing you want to do is have five or six in the, in the drawer and try and remember what was where. So this has a date and last backup on it. And then on a document, paper document that I have a Word document on my computer, it tells me what's on that drive. So if I'm looking for specific images or whatever, I know which old drive I can go to to get it. That's basically my solution for not losing images. Now, I don't just put one copy on one drive. I make two drives for one backup. So I have the image on both drives. So if one fails, I still have a copy on here. Fail safe. I, I learned before with electronics, it's not if it's gonna fail, it's when is it gonna fail and it will fail. If you look at anything that's electronic, TVs, toasters, kettles, stoves, it's not if, it's when. So to be on the safe side, I do two copy backups. Well, three actually, because on my main computer, I keep a copy as well, but my backup files, I've got duplicated. Yeah, it might be overkill, but my work's too important to me to take a chance on losing it, especially after a long time ago, losing all my work. I don't wanna go through that again. So that's my way around of doing the backup. Now that I'm getting more into video, I may have to look at some other alternatives because the video, especially when you're shooting 4K, takes up a lot of memory. Now I have heard about RAID systems and I've started looking at them. Now some of these are, you know, fair size units that have drives all built into it. Each one's like four terabytes in size or whatever. And it has fail safes built in. I heard about the one that if the drives fail, this thing will just come back in and rewrite those files for you. So you haven't lost anything. They are quite pricey. 
but to me, my photo and my work is priceless, so it's worth investing the money into making sure that I'm protecting and archiving my images, especially for the commercial stuff that I do. Uh, I definitely don't want to lose any of that. So these are some options that are on the market. They have the older ones. These weren't very expensive at all. So if you have an old computer that's got a terabyte, two terabyte drive in it, have a look, see if you can't get an enclosure. It makes it easy for you to use uh, as a backup drive for yourself. This one here just basically sits by my main computer. And then these, as I say, these are absolutely wonderful for traveling with because they're small, compact, and they're all the standard USB type cording and the plugging in. So if you have any questions on this or you have some other ideas on protecting your work uh, that I haven't mentioned or thought of, please leave a comment down below. I'd love to find out some other ways of protecting my data because I'm going to end up with filing cabinets full of these in time and I have seen some people that have literally hundreds of these things. Uh, I'm getting getting there myself. This is definitely not all I have. I have quite a bit more of the uh, backup drives. Okay, so this was just a short suite and hopefully give you some information to protect your work. So, until the next time.